from the Rivers property in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is Poker Night in America. Hello and welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansom. I mean Hansom, sorry. And this is Joe Regular Looking. Stapleton, sorry. Uh, we're at Rivers in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for King of the Hill. Oh, heck yeah. You all remember King of the Hill, right? Four players, two heads up tables, best of three matchup. The winners meet in the finals for a best of three showdown. Winner taking the full purse, $200,000. Yeah, that's right. Each of our four players put up 50,000 to battle for the belt. Last King of the Hill, we saw Phil Helmuth capture the title after a dramatic battle with Daniel Jungleman Cates. Well, Phil is back. He'll be taking on Parker Talbot, better known as Tonka. But first, we've got a matchup between the 2018 WSOP Player of the Year, Sean Deeb, and Heads Up Specialist, Olivier Bousquet. Each player begins with 50,000 in chips, and the big blind starts at 300. In addition, each player has two reveal placards, which a player can use to reveal his opponent's whole cards after the hand. All right, let's take it to the streets. Blind starting out tonight at 150 and 300. I mean, like, that's the whole thing is, like, for the draw, it was, like, who's going to get filled? Who's going to, like... You, you can just have so much more fun knowing that that's going to be the banter that you deal with, you know? And, like, me and Phil have done a bunch of shows together, but it's just so different being one-on-one -on -one than, like, a whole table. Phil Helmuth and Tonka playing each other in the other matchup. Our first flop of the night is Queen High. Deeb makes a pair of eights. Olivier Busquet, known as one of the best heads-up players in the world, Sean Deeb does not have the same reputation, but he doesn't have a bad one either. Guys won plenty of online tournaments, and you can't do that without beating someone heads-up. But it's Busquet who's going to bet 800. They say it's hard to make a pair. It's even harder to make <laughs> a pair fold. Especially heads-up. People will grab a pair and hold on to it with death grip. Rightly so. That pair now three of a kind. Deeb decides to lead out. How much? 1,800 is the bet. And Bousquet folds. Worst hand gets away. Blim, blam, bloom. First blood goes to Sean Deeb. It's winner take all of these uh, matches. So each player putting up their 50K, and then whoever wins walks away with all of it. Everyone else, head, not so much. How are you in your head? I, I have no idea what your hand was. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm still not sure what that means. Ace, king of spades? It was not the, not the nut plus joke. No, 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 okay. Well, then, then I really don't know which one it is. Bousquet looks down at Jack three suited. Ace five for Sean Deeb. Then just a call from Sean with Ace. I no reason to play a super huge pot and push a marginal edge. Eight, six, four is the flop. Olivier has got some back doors. Continues the aggression. He bets 1,200. It was the original Razor. And again, Sean just calls with ace high and the best hand. Another four comes on the turn. I think even Olivier knew he was going to have to double barrel this board a lot. Now that he's picked up a flush draw, he should have no problem firing at this again. He checks, so action is on Olivier. 2,500 is the number. Now, Sean's got a draw as well. He's got a gut shot. But at this point, he's going to be calling lots of times just on the merits of ace high, which means he's got to consider both calling here and on the river. And Deeb will lay the hand down. Besides, there are plenty of bad rivers for him, and maybe he's beat already. Deeb trailing Olivier Biscay by just a little bit. Queen 10 for Sean. A raise to 900. And a call. Six, deuce, three, the flop. Pair for Livy, a top pair. Checks to the aggressor. Sean doesn't have much, so of course he's betting. A thousand and a call. King comes on the turn. 
I'm not sure even exactly. Sean thinks he can rep this king. What I really like in this heads up format is how the players' personalities really shine. <laughs> Their personalities, of course, being very serious and dedicated poker players. Now, it's hard to value bet this six, because a lot of worse hands will not call. But it is easy to check and let a worse hand bluff into you. Oh no, he's going for value. 2100's the bet, and Deeb folds again. Well, that's why I think like this structure doesn't need to be that strong, because if you have two guys who are gonna play fast, it can be, you know, 10 minute blind levels, you're still gonna get a lot of hands for a blind level. That's true. There's only two players that act every <laughs> single street. <laughs> yeah. Ace high flop, king high out in front. 500 to bet from Bousquet. Bousquet! Deep calls. We now go to the turn. Turns a jack of spades. Still nothing for nobody. Check, check, check the turn. And so here comes the river. That gives Deeb a bigger lead with a pair of fives. Sean checks. And Olivia is gonna try to bluff this. Sean's hand is bluffable. 1600 is the bet. So far this heads up match has been all Bousquet. Olivia has gone for an interesting sizing here. I don't see Sean folding. Well, that's mostly because my eyes are closed. Hey, who? Seriously, is he folding or calling? Well, there it goes. Folds the best hand. Not a Doug Polk approved fold. Not a not an approved fold, wow. I know you're surprised, right? Mostly because you're wearing sleeves. I just thought you were thinking about calling with King Eye, so. Some early sparring here in Pittsburgh. Olivier Bousquet with just a slight lead in match number one. More King of the Hill after this. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Rivers in Pittsburgh where Poker Night brings you the King of the Hill. We resume match number one between Sean Deeb and Olivier Bousquet who holds a slight chip advantage thus far. You really haven't played much live, I guess. Or you're not used to having a big stack. <laughs> I think that's more what it is, yeah. <laughs> Olivier Bousquet in the lead in this heads up match. The first of two here on King of the Hill. The two winners will take each other on for a winner take all championship. It's a best two out of three match to move on to the next round. Deep raising, 5-4. Bousquet is in with King nine. The flop is jack, jack, queen, eight. A very not good flop for Deeb. Checkity check, we go to the turn, another eight. Despite not having really connected with this board, Bousquet's got a strong hand. Check. Checks to Deeb a second time. All kinds of checking. And Sean Deeb is playing the board here at Showdown, if we get to Showdown. Check. Olivier trying to give him a little rope. And Sean's only chance at winning this pot is to bluff at this. We know that's not gonna go well, considering Olivier has rivered his straight. And typically it's a perfect time to bluff when you're gonna be playing the board anyway. Of course, this timing's no good. Olivier's taking some time to make this look good, like he clearly does with that body, hello. And it looks like the raise is gonna be, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Deeb folds before the chips even hit the felt. Yeah. Unlike what he does with his body, that raise was a waste yeah, of effort. Deeb now under 40,000 in chips. So no huge pots, but all the small pots have gone to Olivier Bousquet. We should have purposely tried to end our matches so quickly that Phil Helmy's book signing got ruined and he had to play instead of be there. Oh, well, there's a Phil Helmy's book signing going on? Phil has a book? He's never mentioned it. King Jack against 10-3. Flop is nine king queen with a couple of spades. That's a pretty big flop. Gut shot and a back door for Olivier. Top pair for Deeb. A thousand is the bet from Bousquet. And a call from Deeb. No more back door clubs for Olivier. By the way, that's the only way I can ever get into a club. hi -oh. Check from Sean. And a check behind. 
So now we'll see the river. It's a six. And Olivier has missed everything, and that's going to be a pretty safe card for Deeb to value bet. Here comes Sean with 2,700 and a fold for Bousquet. So Sean Deeb there winning his first hand of our heads up match here. Maybe you'll just sweep me and then Helmuth will sweep and it'll be like, it'll be quick. Domination of the live pros. Yeah. That's him being funny. He doesn't really expect to get swept by Phil Helmuth. Unless he means with an actual broom. Bit of a neat freak. Bush game made it 1,300, Deeb called. And so here's the flop, it's king, queen, king. We might actually see a fair few chips go into the middle here. Having a queen on this board is very strong. Olivier has made a sneaky little tiny bet. That is a super Woof. unlucky turn card Woof. for Deeb. Sean Deeb. Yeah, Deeb's now got the full house. We had said earlier that a pair heads up is really good when you flop trips. That's, uh, that's usually gonna win you the hand in a whole bunch of chips, especially <laughs> if you can turn it into quads on the turn. 1800 the bet from Deeb. Olivier doesn't want to scare him away. He's obviously interested either if it's bluffing or if it's legitimately that he has a queen. Yeah, there's just absolutely nothing to protect against. Wow, okay, so many full houses and quads <laughs> out there. Sean Deeb has two full houses. Olivier Biscay has a full house, quads, and then a bunch of other full houses if you count the king a different bunch. Oh man, what is going on here? These two have hit every card possible. There's literally not a card on the board that they both don't connect with. So the bet is 4,500 from Deeb. And I think we all just sit back and wait for all the chips to somehow get in the middle here. Oh my God, this is the perfect opportunity for a slow roll. Olivier calls, shows the deuce, announces full house. Deeb announces his full house. In this case, like, nah, no, wait, quads also. <laughs> That's uh, quads with the full house kicker, right? Right. <laughs> Raised to 11,000. <sighs> Why do I always do this to myself? <clears throat> of course, Sean has to consider folding. He might even for a split second think about raising, but he's pretty much only getting called by chops and of course quads. And he's gonna think for a second or two about folding, but nah, you can just never fold in this spot. Your hand's way too strong. The odds of him having quads are way too slim. Unfortunately, you're just gonna pay this off. It's like when you get overcharged by something by like $3 and you know you're gonna have to spend like an hour on the phone and you're just like, you know what? I'm just gonna pay it off. I have it. And that's how they get you. <laughs> Good time to take that line by me. That was a sizable chunk of Sean Deeb's stack. He's now down to 26,000 in this first match. This guy's got nearly three to one on him now. Still plenty of time though. Blinds are only three and 600. A raise from Bousquet to 1,500 and a call from Deeb. Here comes the flop, ace jack nine. So far, Olivier is showing us why he's one of the best heads up players in the world by running slightly better than Sean Deeb. 800 is the bet. Sean's gonna see a turn. He does have a gut shot. Now he's got a pair. Now that was the wrong card to pair for Deeb. He's now got a lower pair than Bousquet. Yep. And Deeb checks. Check. And a check behind from Bousquet. All right, river, three of diamonds. Action's on Sean Deeb. This is a little bit more analytical poker than we're used to on Poker Night in America, that's for sure. Not much you can do when it's only two-handed. Plus, don't forget, these guys are in for 50K each. $200,000 to the eventual winner. Winner gets it all. Always have the same hand strength when you do this line. 
Yep, and Olivier's always got a better one. And Deeb. King nine. Folds and he throws out his reveal card. Sean Deeb is half the man he used to be with that stack. Yeah, he wasn't even that tall in the first place. hi -oh. Back at Rivers in Pittsburgh. More play heads up here in the King of the Hill match number one. Busque officially got a three to one chip lead over Deep now. Deep makes it 1300 with Queen Deuce. King four for Busque. And guess what? We're going heads up to the flop. Literally the only way we can go to a flop. <laughs> Flop is deuce five seven. Deeb makes a pair of deuces. He's finally flopped the best hand, but it is the worst best hand you can flop. A four on the turn once again gives Bousquet a better hand than Deeb. Both of them having a pair. Action's on Bousquet and he's gonna be betting. It's 2100. Come on, Deeb, just fold a pair here. Make him look like a jerk. Just soul read him. Fold a pair right on the turn. Uh, nope, that's a call. Probably the right call, to be honest. Looking to improve on the river. No, well, technically he did improve, but he did not take the lead. And I'm wondering, can Olivier Bousquet value better four? I can tell you what, whatever he does, it's correct. <laughs> it looks like yes, yes, you can value better four. I knew that. And the bet is going to be 4,000. It's going to be tough for Sean to believe he always has it, but he has always had it so far. Paying four. Oh, he's paying him off. Always have the best hand, never had. He really does always have the best hand. Olivia Biscay has yeah, got I the did. best hand more often than the winner of a hand modeling competition. Maybe should have taken a second to... Uh... Blinds are up, we're now at 400 and 800, almost a four to one chip lead for Bousquet. All right, so Sean D has flopped the best hand again. How's Olivier going to do it to him this time? I'd say running fours. I think running fours? <laughs> I was going to see either a 10 or the queen jack. I love Olivier's strategy here. He starts off with a bet of like 800 on the flop, which gets Sean to call with a whole wide range of hands, and then he just starts to hammer. So Bousquet, with this queen of spades on the turn, picks up a gut shot to the nuts. <laughs> no, not the kind of gut shot to the nuts you'd see on America's Funniest Home Videos, though. I wish. Wiffle ball bats. Boy, oy, 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 oy. Hilarious. And here he comes. The teaser bet on the flop. It looks like 6,000 is the bet. Flop the hammer on the turn. Over bet. Okay, he is too good. Remember, Sean's not just deciding here in the turn. He's got a river to deal with as well. And his hand is not likely to improve. I feel like I'm making a very bad fold. So my white magic says. <laughs> Your white magic is correct. Busque. Sorry. Too good. Well, the L's are just piling up here for Sean Deeb. Now under 20,000. And he's in another world. Come back to us, Sean. He's raising 10-5, Bousquet calls 10 four. it's domination nation, although there's a pretty strong chance of a chop. Bousquet does it again, Check. flopping two pair, just no big deal. Once again, Bousquet holding over Deeb like a tall kid on a basketball court. Deeb bets 1,500. We could see the rest of Sean Stack go in here. This is the best hand he's made the entire episode, and sometimes that can make you a little attached. This is exactly where you might expect Sean to go a little crazy. It's been a bit of a drought. All of a sudden, you got top pair. Tough to believe your beat here. Can you really fold top pair? Can you really call with top pair and then face bigger and bigger bets on the turn and river? And Deeb is going to make the call. And boy, he's got a lot of his chips in the middle already. Go to the turn, it's a jack. Deeb had less than 20,000 when this hand started. He's now invested over 6,000 into it. Check. 
I mean, the jack doesn't really affect that much. Deep is already losing to a hand like jack 10. There are some random jacks that huh? Olivier could be playing that well, way, but no, it's not the random jack, it's the two pair. <sighs> Sean drawing very thin, needs to hit a five on the river, no good. And that is it, match stop, stop, number stop one. Exciting. Over and done. Congrats uh -huh. on your first uh -huh. win. Honestly, every, uh, hopefully no more. Every, every hand I had it. I, have, like, I believe it. I mean, not every hand, but like, I never had it. I had it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Olivier Bisquet yeah, makes relatively too. quick work of Sean Deeb taking the first match in the best of three. Remember, the winner will go on to the finals. Well, things are just getting started here in Pittsburgh, and we're back after this. Download our new Poker Night in America app for free so you and your friends can have your very own Poker Night. Also available on Facebook Instant Games. Welcome back to Poker Nights in America presenting King of the Hill. We just saw Olivier Bousquet get the better of Sean Deeb to take a 1-0 lead in the best of three. Remember, the winner of this matchup will proceed to the finals where they will battle the winner of the Phil Helmuth versus Parker Talbot match. Make sure you tune in next time to see if Sean Deeb can pull out back-to-back -back wins as he hopes to upset heads-up guru Olivier Bousquet. Hey, thanks for watching. Do not forget, please click like and subscribe. Keep us on the air. For Joe Stapleton, I'm Chris Hansen. And for everyone here at Poker Night in America, who let the dogs out?